Vienna in one day, or rather in a few hours. Is it enough to see the sights? Like nestling dolls in Moscow. How much is it secession for tourists today? Should we choose together our architectural symbol of the capital of Austria? Is the golden sphere good for this role? The tallest spire in Europe. Even Dürer was recently discovered in this cathedral. What kind of hotel room will we get in Vienna? How much does the hotel cost if you book it at the last minute? The Hofburg Palace is like a mirror of the Habsburg Empire and you can see Roman buildings nearby. What could an architect who was always wearing different colored socks create? In the morning, along the pedestrian street to the city center in the 21st century, Vienna, with 1,900,000 citizens, was named for several times as the best in the world, the most convenient city for life. Metro at every corner, tram transport is well organized, scooters for rent throughout the city, bike paths. Traffic light for the bicycle riders is very convenient. Here we go, the green light is on. There is still a long way for us to get to this point. When it's only a few hours for Vienna, where should we run first? The replicated work of Gustav Klimt jumps on you from all sides and leads you to the adobe of the secession, an Austrian modern. And in the 21st century, the Austrians still use the legacy of the modernists. Gustav Klimt, поцелуй, Gustav Klimt, kiss, it's a most famous work of his. Dissidents make money on his work up to these days. The ashtray cost 15 euros with stamping, probably stamped in China, and a coffee cup with a saucer, 12 euros. There was no question I had about what you need to visit. We are going to the house of the secession, where Gustav Klimt did one of the most important work and dedicated it to the work of Beethoven. And here is the posters. Up to this day, you can hear Beethoven here on every corner. For many years now, I wanted to come near a white with the blinding golden building, which we passed for several times drove through followed by transit to Italy or somewhere else to the south before the Covid. If there is something in Vienna, in the capital of Austria, that is differs, is from any other capital around the world, then in my opinion it is this snow white building bath in the sun. This is a secession house. Gustav Klimt is one of the authors of an idea of creation of a secession house. An outstanding artist, he still thunders. In the 21st century, his painting Adele was sold for 130 and more million dollars. Adele Bloch-Bauer is wife of the, if we talk modern way, an oligarch who, as people think, had a relationship with an artist that goes far beyond posing. The story of the sale of painting was shocking to the public, so soon after that the film was released, The Woman in Gold. People see the masterpiece of one of the greatest artists in Austria and I see a portrait of a woman, a woman who taught me how to live. A group of artists at the end of 19th century in Vienna decided that they did not want to work in the same manner anymore and decided that they needed their own exhibition space for the works, for the works of young artists. So they created this secession house. Secession, in Latin, means a section, separation. They built this building using their own money. The municipality, the city, gave them a land for construction. Contemporaries called it the Eastern Tomb, that's how unusual it was, with this golden dome. The dome sparkles with thousands of laurel leaves, which symbolizes youth, liveliness, new art, modern. The interesting no, thing is that today, in the house of succession, we can see only the original of this artist's Beethoven frieze, which he dedicated to Beethoven's work.
Интересная надпись на доме Сецессиона. Каждому... An interesting inscription on the secession house. To every time it's art, to art it's freedom. I think it is very prevalent today. Eyes are getting blind from the secession house. And here we have our own gold. What nourished modernists? What kind of architecture air they breathe? Very close, an example of the incredible courage of an architect in the Barocco era, an exotic Carlos Kirch, the church of Karl, to say it simply. Here are the Trojan columns from Rome and in the goose of minarets and even with Chinese dragons. Here is a Greek portico and the large dome is like the dome of St. Peter's Cathedral in the Vatican. Eclecticism. Apparently, there were never lack of creativity in Austria. 18th century, the plague raged in these lands. Emperor Karl VI promised to this saint to build a temple for saving the city from epidemic. In 1713, work started hard. In those days, in these places there was no park, there was cemetery for poor people, where the composer Vivaldi was buried. In memory of this, they arranged concerts in cathedral dedicated to the composer. Children made me happy. They walked the whole world without wimps. Probably they slept well. We drove into the Vienna almost at midnight, as it should be when you drive car all day across strange borders through the road to the just booking hotel room. Here we go. We arrived to our hotel. This is a portrait of Leonardo da Vinci. Lucky we are, almost in the center. This hotel even has its own parking, and this is very important. This is a hotel, almost in the center of Vienna. Oh, you haven't seen such phones probably? What a rarity is it? So, four-star hotel. Hi, Ekaterina. Mask is necessary. 20 meters for how much? For 80 euros. Seems much. Less attractive than the 21 euros room in Zagreb. Some paper cups. Let's hope they are more environmentally friendly. Wooden spoons. Shuddered, probably, for four stars. So, what do we have here? We will be able to turn around here? Yeah, I think so. That is good. All we need is sleep well and start tomorrow. We are going to the center. Coming inside, the ring along which you can take a tram ride and you will be surrounded by respectable cafes with the famous Viennes coffee strudel with a puff roll with cherries or apples. Shops of famous brands sparkle in windows. No matter where you go, you will get to the Klimt and again showcases with replicated secession. From all kinds of porcelain to clothing items, everywhere you see all is Klimt, everything is in gold, you see? There is a queue, but not to the Klimt, but for the new iPhone, which just came out. Here is central temple of Vienna, St. Stephen's Cathedral. It is considered as a symbol of Vienna and Austria. The first temple on this place was back in the 12th century, was, but the founding date is 13. What can I say? It is a great cathedral, only two meters more to reach 200 meters, and its tower is 137 meters, completes with the British Salisbury Cathedral, which is only 123 meters. If you will have the opportunity to go up to look at the surroundings, give a link in the video in the comments. How many people visited the cathedral today? Let's look at the indicator. 1494. Here with me, 1495 people. The roof is glazed tiles in the colors of the Habsburg dynasty with codes of arms of faith. There is a lot of religious relics inside the temple, such as relics of a Saint Valentine, the one when we sent Valentines to each other. But actually, it's a Controversial question. Maybe it's a relics of some other Saint Valentine. 
I am a bit embarrassed by the fact that I walk in the cathedral as if on someone's graves. In the basement, not only more than 70 members of the Habsburg dynasty are buried. Precisely, only the insides that was tradition and the bodies were in another place, but also about 11,000 citizens of Vienna of the 18th century. In the 1735, a bubonic plague was killing local population and the cemeteries were already occupied and they were throwing bodies into the holes dug in the floor of the eastern part of the cathedral. This eerie crypt is available to visit, but we will not go there. Let's move to the modern times. I admire the unconventional vision of an official in the Catholic Church of Austria of the possibilities of the cathedral. In 2008, with the concern, within the walls of the temple, a performance was held accompanied by rock music, dedicated to the theme of fighting AIDS. From the joyful. Albert Dürer worked in cathedral, recently, in 2020, over a shop with souvenirs, accidentally, frescoes were discovered of the early 16th century of St. Ekaterina and Margareta was established that they was made by the hand of the famous Dürer. How many discoveries the central cathedral of Vienna is still hiding? Talking about Vienna and not mention the music? Even an artist from Belarus told us that he moved to Austria only because Vienna is the capital of classic music. Mozart, Beethoven, Strauss. Vienna State Opera is one of the largest in the world, which was confirmed in my fate by attending a concert in China during a tour of musicians from Vienna. This is the most expensive theatre tickets in my life for the sake of performance of the Vienna's orchestra. Can you imagine? There is a real. It is Roman. What is it? This is evidence that the history of Vienna is a settlement began during the Romans. Ten meters of the cultural layer today hides the fact that in the middle of the first century of our era, the construction of an outpost of the 15th Roman legion, Windabono, began here. The current old city of Vienna exists within the framework of that Roman outpost. Also life in these parts was in full swing, long before the Romans. We have already been at the huge palace of the Habsburgs. The dynasty kept the power for almost a thousand years and was one of the most influential in Europe. From the 13th century to the beginning the 20th, the palace grew on this place. As a sentence, from Burgas and the Sacred, from Roman itself, then Austro-Hungarian, then the Austrian Empire. Austria got married, the Habsburgs got married, that is to say, with the help of profitable marriages, they received new territories in their empire. And architects audibly decorated all new buildings in the palace complex. Today, he is 19 of them, and these palaces accommodates museums, theatres, galleries, total 2,600 halls. A separate part of the palace is used by the current president of Austria as a residence, very democratically, as they live here with no several cordons and high fences. In this way, isn't it the president who is riding?
At the another part of the palace, there are representatives of international organizations. Oh, if only you could see builders of the Habsburg, what will happen to the architecture? Or dome with laurel leaves, or even no buildings, no hills, no with windows. What is relevant? Oh, you see. Secession came even to the new tradition, has passed into new real life. No matter where you go, you will get to the Klimt. I think for the title of the architectural symbol of Vienna, the symbol of Austria, along with the St. Stephen's Cathedral, could well compete not only the house of the secession, but also the creations of the Handerwasser. Why not? Majestic Gothic cathedral exists in all European capitals, but this, this is another most memorable house of Vienna. A building of the Handerwasser, he is the one who laid the foundation for curved lines in architecture, not even balconies, oblique walls. The native resident of the Vienna, an artist, Hande Wassel, did not have a specialization education, but this did not prevent him from becoming famous all over the world and, in the 80s, to rebuild a whole complex of buildings in his homeland that even today surprises tourists. This house looks a bit oblique. This house doesn't look so revolutionary, except these columns, which are unusual, of course, propping up the red. And the courtyard and the trees are decorated with this kind of hills, broken off timber. So, which architectural monument, in your opinion, is worthy today to be called a symbol of Vienna? Could you please write in comments?